Hi, I'm Laurie, and welcome to your leg day workout. All right, so this is day five of my month four strength training program. Day one, we really honed in on your glutes and hamstrings. Today, the focus is gonna be on the quads and your inner thighs. So we're gonna need to be pretty creative with our setup today. So what you will need, you're going to need a mat. We will also need a chair. It doesn't have to be a workout bench, but it needs to be a chair. We will be doing the seated and we will need a long band. I will be using the ankle strap attachment, but you can also use just the handle as well. Just get creative with your foot placement. Now, if you don't have this, don't freak out. Just use a dumbbell and do it bilaterally instead of unilaterally. All right, we will also need a book for feet elevated goblet squats. We will need dumbbells for resistance. So the more dumbbells you have, grab them. And then we're also going to need a ball to work our inner thighs. And if you don't have a ball handy, grab a towel and just wrap up your towel. All right, so there's a lot of equipment. Grab something for hydration as well. Grab it all and meet me back on your mat for your body weight only warm up. Everything is time today, 60 on, 15 off. We do not have to go at the same pace. You can go slower. Uh, don't go too quick though. Really focus on that mind muscle connection in great form. As far as weight selection, find something that is challenging for you. Uh, we're going to repeat this for multiple rounds. So if round one was too easy, up at round two. If it was too hard, if you lose your form, can't finish it, decrease the weight selection for round two, three, and beyond. All right, we're gonna start with a quick warm up. It's gonna be five minutes long. We start with a lateral lunge. We'll start with your left leg. So we take it out to the side, we drive it in. So keep the core engaged to stabilize the hips. We go 30 seconds on the left, and then we'll go 30 seconds on the right. Here we go. Workout begins in three, two, and one. Let's work. My heart is beating to your drum. And I'm blinded by the sunshine in your eyes Not thinking twice in my this dumb Although I know you're all I want How could I crave something so bad? My sweaty palms reveal a warning I should hear But I don't care, you drive me mad I know the truth We switch to the right in three, two, and one Let's switch Can't help myself. You know to well. Last three, two, and one. All right, we're going to repeat that same exact exercise, but this time we're gonna amp it up with the knee in. So we're gonna try to push off, knee goes in, and then we bring it right back down. Now, if needed, just perform it like that. Here we go, 30, this side, let's work. That's your option. This is the full Monty. Switch sides in three, two, and one. Other side. Can't help myself. You know too well. Last three, two, and one. Swing lunge with rotation. So we take it forward with the right foot. We twist towards the front knee. We bring it back. And then with the right leg, the right leg's gonna move. And then we twist towards the left. So we go forward and back, same leg moves. Let's go, and we're twisting towards the front knee. So we twist towards the right. Oh, and we twist towards the left. Make sure your dumbbells are out of your way. Can't help my 
And one, nice work. Now we're gonna do the other side. The right foot will stay grounded, left leg will move. We twist in different directions depending on the leg that is in front. Twist in, not away. Let's go, so we start back, twist. We go forward and then we twist. So we're rotating in, not out. If we rotate out, we may lose our balance. Stay upright in this lunge. So if we stay a little bit upright, it's gonna hone in a little bit more on the quads rather than glutes and hamstrings. This isn't wrong, but our focus today is gonna be on the front. Last three, two, and one. All right, that wraps up our warm up. Next block, we're getting hot and heavy with some dumbbells. So you need one dumbbell, you'll need your elevation. So grab your book, and if your feet aren't hip distance apart, you may wanna grab two books to widen the stance. We're also gonna sit down, and we're gonna start with these leg extensions. Now, if you don't have the band, use a dumbbell, make it light though, and you're going bilateral instead of unilateral. Next up, we have seated leg extensions. We'll do one side at a time. If you know you have a weaker side, do that side first. We'll superset this with goblet squats. Just be aware of the tempo change within the exercises. All right, so we're gonna start with leg extensions. Press it back into the wall from here. Bring it up, big squeeze of the quads. We have a two count pause before we bring it down. So bring it up, squeeze, two counts, bring it down. 60 on starts in three, two, and one. Let's work. Thirty seconds. Final ten. Last three, two. One, all right, unstrap super quick. We have goblet squats. Tempo for this will be three counts on the eccentric, one count on the concentric, heels go on. We bring it down, three, two, one. One count, drive it up. This is gonna shift the focus to the quads. Let's go. So my stance is pretty narrow. So if yours is any more narrow than this, I would suggest grabbing two books of equal height and placing it, or placing one book under each heel. Last rep. Nice work. All right, we're going back to those leg extensions, other side this, this round. So get strapped in, same tempo as the other side, two count pause at the top. Here we go, in three, two, 
and one Let's Work. You may find that one side is way harder than the other. If that's the case, we got a little muscular imbalance going on, which is fine. Uh, but we may want to work on it. These unilateral movements, unilateral exercises are a great way to fix and equal out those muscle imbalances throughout the body. Last three, two, and one. Back to those goblet squats this time. Same tempo like we just did on these lick extensions. We have a two count pause at the bottom. So take it down, two count pause, drive it up. We go in three, two, and one less work. something to be very mindful of. Do not let the knees cave in by any means. If you find that your knees do cave in, now this cue isn't gonna be for everyone, but you may just wanna rip it away. Again, if you don't have that problem, don't worry about it. And recover. All right, start on the leg that you began with. So for me, it was my left. The first 30 seconds, we're going to add one pulse at the top. And then the final 30 seconds, we're just going to rep it out normal tempo. So first 30, one pulse at the top. Let's go. So let me break, break, break it all down for you. I ain't never giving up, I ain't never giving up. You know I'm gonna take, take, taking that crown from you. Ten seconds and then we go normal tempo. Break, break, break it all down for you. I ain't never giving up, I ain't never giving up. You know I'm gonna take, take, taking that crown from you. And three, two, and one, normal tempo. Yeah. I ain't never slowing down, keep on going till I'm down. Last three, two, and one. Nice work. All right, now we're going back to those goblet squats, and we're going to add one pulse at the bottom. So instead of holding, we're just going to pulse, little mini pulse, and then drive it back up. Here we go. And three, two, and one less work. Three, two, and one. All right, we go to the other side. First 30, we have pulse at the top, final 30, normal tempo. It comes quick, we go in three, two, and one, let's work.
Normal tempo in three, two, and one. Last three, two, and one. All right, final round of these goblet squats, and we're doing normal tempo. Straight up, straight down. Here we go. Go at your own pace. We don't have to go at the same speed. Focus on mind muscle connection. Do not let your form slip. Let's work. Don't walk out at the top, so constant tension right here. Final 10. Three, two, and one. All right, next block we have Bulgarian split squats. We will stay upright, it'll have a quad focus. Uh, we're done with this band, so grab two moderate to heaviest dumbbells. Meet me back on your mat. Our next block, we will be supersetting Bulgarian split squats with some bilateral calf raises. There are a couple ways you could do these Bulgarians. You can do it with one dumbbell in each hand. Now, if you find that that is too much on your balance, release the weight and support yourself with a wall. So we're staying upright to target the quads more so than glutes and hamstrings. So we're right here and this is how it's performed. Now too much, release one weight and you can brace yourself with an object like a wall or a chair. All right, do your weaker side first if you have one. First up, we have a slow eccentric, slow eccentric Bulgarian split squats. We got three rounds. We go, and three, two, and one. Three, two, and one. All right, we're doing the other side. Take a little breather. In 10 seconds, it's go time. It's gonna come quicker than we think. Get into position. Ooh. Less work. Two 
and one. All right, next up, bilateral calf raises. I'm gonna place it, neutral grip, use my shoulders to rest it on. If this is uncomfortable, ooh, you can have it down to the side. Same tempo. Let's go. Three, two, one. One count up. Three, two, one. Now, if you want, you can use that book for more elevation. I'm going out my mind. Give me some directions to get to you. To get to you. Ain't gonna waste my time. I know that we got connection. I think about you. You're on my mind. On my mind. On my mind. Yeah. I'm going out of my mind. Out of my mind. Out of my mind. Yeah. For you, my love. You drive me crazy. Tell me what to do. What to do. I'm on my knees. Yeah, I am begging you. Begging you. I'm Last three. Two and one. All right, now it's back to those Bulgarians. This time we're adding a pulse at the bottom and I'm gonna have to dish one dumbbell because I felt my forearm slip. It was a little bit too heavy for me. So I'm gonna use this hand to brace myself. One pulse at the bottom, then drive it up. Let's go. We're hitting the other side. Goodness gracious. Okay, I don't have a wall now, but that's okay. Keep the majority of the weight in the front foot. We go in three, two, and one. So don't let the weight fall back or you will start to feel it in your hip. So keep the weight. The majority of the weight is right here. Think about 80% there and 20 in the back leg. And one. Oh, goodness. Okay, bilateral calf raises. If you want, you can use this. I'm gonna grab it now for an increased range of motion. We add a pulse at the top. Ooh. Let's go. Last three, two, 
and one. Final round of these Bulgarian split squats. This time, normal tempo. Straight up, straight down. Pace yourself though. Three, two, and one. And one, goodness, all right, other side. I don't know what my heart rate is. I forgot to hit my watch, but it feels pretty high. All right, keep your form, normal tempo. I got 25 reps last time. Let's match it. Let's work. And one. Oh goodness, all right. Final exercise of huh, this block. Normal tempo calf raises. <laughs> Grab your book for an increased range of motion. We got a break after this, but now we're working 60 on. Three, two, and one. All right, grab a drink of water. We probably need one after that block. Our final block of the day, we're only doing two times through, and it's gonna really focus on your inner thighs. We will need one heavy weight, one heavy weight, go heavier than what you did on the goblet squats. We will need your bench or your chair. We definitely need your mat and have your ball handy. All right, the final 10-ish minutes will be all about the inner thighs. So first up, we have sumo squats. We have four exercises we go through twice. Uh, one exercise is unilateral, so we go right and left. First up though, we have sumo squats. All right, so I prefer holding my dumbbell like this, but if it decreases your range of motion, you may wanna bring it back here. Uh, external rotation of the hips, heels and toes out, wide stance. So this foot placement will target your inner thighs more. First up, slow eccentric, three, two, one. One count pause, one count. Use those adductors to bring it in. So three, two, one, we're stretching out and then we contract it up. Really want you to make that connection, all right? Here we go, <laughs> get into position. I know we're a little fatigued, keep the form perfect. Let's go.
last three, two, and one. All right, next up, Copenhagen planks. We're gonna start with a modified version for the first 30, and the second 30, we're gonna crank it up. Top foot goes on the bench, bottom knee is going down. We're gonna try to minimize the weight here and really drive into the bench with the inside of the, the foot. So start to drive into the bench, see if you can lift the heel off, or excuse me, the knee off. We should really feel it along the top inner thigh. Place the knee back on when needed. Drive it in. Now, final 30, the bottom foot is gonna go under the bench and we're gonna squeeze both inner thighs. But if needed, bring it back to this version. We crank it up in three, two, and one. And this is way more challenging. Hold on to it, final 10. Three, two, and one. Goodness, all right, we're going to flip around to the other side. We may not see each other, but I'll talk you through it. First 30, the knee is going down. Second 30, if we did it on the other, let's try to do it on this side. And let's begin. So start pressing your weight into the bench with your foot and feel the top leg, that inner thigh, really start to fire up. So see if you can float the bottom knee off and then place it down as needed. Just start to get really warm before we crank it up a notch. 10 seconds and then we're really gonna fire it up. And three, two, and lift. Bottom leg comes to that bench and wow. If you need to, support yourself with the top hand to make it more attainable. This one is super tough. So hold it for as long as possible. If needed, come out, then get right back in it. Final 10. Three, two, and one, release, grab your ball. All right, bridges with a ball squeeze. So we're gonna maintain that tempo we did for the sumo squats. One count up, squeeze the ball as we go up. Three, two, one. So as we go up for the concentric portion, squeeze the ball. All right, let's go. One count up, three, two, one. One count up, three, two, one. If you wanna make this more challenging, you can bring that weight and place it on your hips. But we'll just get a feel this round and then maybe we'll crank it up for our final round. And one. All right, back to your sumo squats. This time, we'll take the first 30 seconds with a pulse at the bottom, and then our final 30 seconds, we'll hit normal tempo. Whew. All right, here we go. In three, two, and one. Pulse at the bottom, drive it up. First 30 like this. Five seconds and then we hit normal tempo to finish. And three, two, and one normal tempo. Three, 
two, and one. All right, back to those Copenhagen planks. Now I'm gonna perform it exactly like I did last round. If you found that it was too easy, hold that top position for 60 instead of 30 at the end. All right, so I'm gonna start modified. Let's go. So just plant the toe. So this bottom, the bottom knee is now lifted because we got the hang of it, but still support yourself with this foot. Press into the bench so this inner thigh is firing up. Now for the final 30, that foot's gonna go up and you're gonna squeeze that inner thigh as well. It is super challenging, so if needed, you can come out of it, take a few deep breaths, but then get right back in it. Here we go, we're cranking it up. In three, two, one, let's go. Come on, maintain. I'm right there with you. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Oh goodness, all right. Other side, Whew. get into position. We'll take the first 30 kind of slow. Second 30 is where we kick it up a notch. Let's go in three, two, and one. So plant the toe, let's just try to lift the knee, but also remember to press into the bench so the, the top inner thigh is uh, should really fire up here. Fifteen seconds, and then we crank it up. And three, two, and one. Bottom foot lifts. Final 10, stay with me, we got this. Three, two, and release. All right, bridges. First 30, we pulse uh, for one at the top. Second 30, normal tempo. Grab a weight if you wanna crank it up a notch. Add some resistance for the glutes. All right, let's go. Pulse it up at the top. Bring it down. So as we pulse up through the heels, you're also squeezing the ball. So squeeze the ball for two, bring it down. In about five seconds, we hit normal tempo. And three, two, and one, normal tempo. Let's go. 10 seconds and then we hold the pulse at the top. We'll just stay lifted for our final burnout. Three, two, and one. Hold at the top, we pulse up and we squeeze the ball. We're here for 30 seconds before our loaded hold. And three, we just hold in three. Two and one, hold at the top. We are here for 45 seconds to so squeeze the ball. Glutes stay lifted. This is neutral, we're not hyperextending. So glutes, inner thighs, and we're just holding and burning and squeezing and holding almost through 30 seconds. Keep it lifted, keep squeezing the ball. Don't let, don't let go of the ball. Final 10 seconds, keep squeezing that ball. Can we squeeze it a little bit more? Last three, 
two, and one. We are done. Set that dumbbell off to the side, release your ball, make sure it's secure, and let's stretch. All right, so let's just hug the knees in, give yourself little circles clockwise, then let's go counterclockwise, bring the soles of the feet to the sky, grab a hold of the outer blades, and just start to draw the knees in towards the armpits, maybe rock side to side. Ooh, all right, grab a hold of the backs of the hamstrings, and let's start to roll up on the third roll. Come all the way up, cross at the ankles, hinge forward until you're in a quadruple position. Whoops, all right. Inhale, belly down, gaze up. Let's just hit some nice uh, stretches here. Exhale down once more. Inhale, belly up. Belly down, gaze up, excuse me. Exhale and round. Start to walk the hands in towards the knees. Bring the right foot forward. Uh, keep a neutral back. And we're gonna take this lunge variation with the neutral back. So we're not dipping forward. Keep it here and you'll feel a bigger stretch along the front of the left hip flexor into the left quad. If you wanna take it one step farther, left arm goes up and over as well. Nice work today. Let's hit the other side. So this was day five of my strength strength training program, month four. Uh, so nice work today. We had to get creative. I always find myself, I really have to get creative when I want to hit quads. So we gotta get a little bit more equipment. Ah, oh, okay, just bring it down and then take the right arm up and over. All right, bring it back in. Uh, let's hit those inner thighs. So bring the soles of the feet together, grow the top of the head towards the sky. And as we exhale, see if you can release the knees a little bit uh, closer to the ground. Big deep inhale, grow the head long towards the sky. Can't dock today. Exhale, draw it in. Big stretch along the inner thighs, maybe even going into the glutes. All right, y'all, that is it. Day five of the month four strength training program. You rock. Keep up the amazing work. My name is Laurie and have a wonderful rest of your day.